In the very south of Japan, in this state-of-the-art gym, is a sports club unlike any other. It's a baby sumo factory. Here, children don't dream of being the next Messi or Ronaldo. Their obsession is to become sumo champions. Overweight and with the body of a mini wrestler, Toki is only eight years old. He is the youngest of the team and yet doesn't get any special treatment from his coaches. Today, Toki has to repeat his exercise a hundred times. The boy then moves on to wrestling. After yet another defeat against one of his classmates, exhausted and pushed to his limits, he breaks down. の方針として稽古でないて試合で笑うっていうま方針ですのでここが難しいところですねまあ甘やかしさってまあ育たないとこもありますしまけどこれは普段からあのま仲良く仲良くコミュニケーションを取れてるからここまでできることであってえまたね
They are called Sumo Yoshi, young girls who are Sumo fans. Mako, 15 years old, is part of this community of groupies. In her room, there are no posters of boy bands like most Japanese girls of her age. Her idols are huge men in briefs. She knows all the wrestlers' measurements by heart, mostly because of the sumo version of collectible cards. In her collection, she also has some rare gems. そう、this Japanese ancestral sport has also made its mark on social networks. More and more wrestlers have their own Twitter or Instagram account. Mako's passion for sumo comes from her mother. Since she was five years old as an only child, she hasn't missed a tournament to see her heroes in action. She's content as she already has her tickets for the next one. Every summer, the best sumo wrestlers on the scene tour the major Japanese cities. Today, they're in Osaka, in the center of Japan. Mako has just arrived after three hours on the train from Tokyo. Even though it's a friendly competition, it's sold out. Ticket prices are between 30 and 130 euros. The tournaments begin with an opening ceremony, including somewhat religious rituals. These men with slick man buns are worshipped as demigods. Mako, who came with her mother, is admiring these power monsters, who push each other in a four-meter diameter ring. Although the fights only last a few seconds, the warm-up can take a long time, with a series of rituals to be performed. One ritual, wrestlers hit the ground with their feet, which is believed to ward off the evil spirits. The referees preserve the history, century after century, by wearing a costume that dates back to medieval Japan. In the entrance hall, many people buy souvenirs from the gift shop, and in front of the changing rooms, all generations line up to get an autograph or a selfie. At every tournament, there are young female fans like Mako who are fascinated by these sumo wrestlers. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
These girls came to the event together. Mako, who attends every tournament, knows the staff and has certain privileges. She can access the backstage, an area normally forbidden to the public. This is where the sumo wrestlers warm up. On average, these first league athletes earn around 10,000 euros per month. This one is doing push-ups, carrying his 140 kilos with ease. He stretches out and does a split without much effort. These are athletes like no other, big but very muscular and extremely flexible. Mako is asking a couple of them about their shape. Today, above all, Mako wants to meet this living legend. Having attended 42 tournaments, Hakuho is the most successful sumo wrestler in history. Since 2007, he has been ranked Yokozuna, the highest rank worshipped by the Japanese. The Yokozunas are the only ones to wear this rope belt, a sacred symbol of the Shinto religion. Filming this demigod requires a special authorization from the Sumo Federation, which we don't have. But thanks to Mako, who has known him since she was a little girl, we get a pass just before he enters the ring. Hakuho on the left is 1.92 meters tall and weighs 154 kilos. This afternoon, he faces another Yokozuna. But for this exhibition match, neither of the two champions will push really hard to avoid injury. At 34 years old, Hakuho will forever remain in sumo history as the champion of champions. In total, there are just over 600 professional wrestlers in Japan. To find them, we have to go to Ryakuku, the sumo district in the heart of Tokyo. With its gigantic stadium dedicated to the main tournament of the season and its wrestlers walking around in kimono. They live together in sumo stables called Heya. To enter this closed community is almost impossible. We are granted exceptional permission to film their daily life for several days. Sumo is the only sport in the world where athletes live together 24 hours a day. It's 6.30 in the morning, and the barely awake and hungry wrestlers are already dressed up. These enormous athletes are almost as flexible as ballet dancers. This two-meter-tall giant is the master of the stable, an anomaly in the history of sumo. He is the only teacher of European origin. This former Bulgarian, who became a Japanese national, used to be a great sumo champion. His Japanese name, Naruto. He is the David Beckham of sumo.
For centuries, the training has been the same. The same exercises, the same routines, and above all, the same suffering. Slaps, which are allowed in fights, are used even between teammates. These young wrestlers are between 17 and 23 years old. The conditions to join a stable are to be in good physical condition, be at least 1 meter 74 centimeters tall, and weigh at least 75 kilos. Ujo is the oldest member of the team. A year and a half ago, he gave up everything to become a sumo wrestler. <laughs> Life in the stable feels like the army. At the end of each training session, they sing the sumo anthem like soldiers. After two and a half hours of training with no break, the sumo wrestlers clean the house from floor to ceiling. The rules inside are based on authority, hierarchy and respect for the elders. Apprentices must carry out all chores and accept humiliation. <laughs> Upstairs, others are on potato duty, wearing the same modest outfit as during training. Every day, the wrestlers prepare their own gigantic meal, a culinary feast that takes hours in the oven. The magic recipe of sumo is called chankonabe, it's a hypercalorific stew with a little bit of vegetables and a lot of protein, meat, eggs and fats. Lots of fats. The aim is to become heavier so that they can push better in the ring. It's 11 o'clock, a time for a proper feast. On average, sumo wrestlers consume 8,000 calories a day. That's the equivalent of about 20 big hamburgers. For an average built man, 2,000 calories are enough. <laughs> Diabetes, high cholesterol levels and cardiovascular problems. This rapid weight gain is not without risk. The life expectancy of sumo wrestlers hardly reaches 65 years, which is 20 years less than the Japanese average. <laughs> いや、
自分にとって一番動ける体重はこれぐらいかなっていう理想で。Every day after lunch, the stable's hairdresser, who clearly doesn't follow the same diet, comes to give them a little comb over. Professional sumo wrestlers have the same haircut as the samurai. There are about 40 sumo stables in Tokyo. In this one, there are 13 young adults living with each other, extremely overcrowded, with zero privacy. A big part of the afternoon is reserved for a nap. Two and a half hours of sleep to recover from training, but especially to store the fat from lunch. まあ、体作るって面では一番大好きな時間です。で、みんな寝てる間にやっぱいびきかっこしてて。あの。バゲモンです。the last ones to have joined the stable sleep in the dining room. they arrived three months ago. most of them won't last a year. The afternoon program is the same as the morning one training, housework, dinner, and going to sleep at 10 pm. However, this tough, isolated, almost monastery like lifestyle still inspires Japanese children. All over the archipelago, children want to join the sumo stables. In European schools, obesity is often looked down on. However, here, Shizuka is a star. This 13 year old boy is 1 meter 73 centimeters tall and weighs 124 kilos. Since he was 9 years old, he has been practicing sumo in a club and has taken home many trophies. Shizuka might be a prodigy of the discipline amongst his peers. However, when faced with a mathematical equation, he struggles. But as a future demigod, his teachers and friends are taking good care of him. <laughs> ま、勉強もできるし、給食もいっぱい食べれるので好きです。あ、それは多分あると思います。子供たちは相撲をしているのも見ているし、あの、他の中学校とかと比べると相撲っていう文化が非常に身近にあるので、先輩には好きたこう
という技はないんですけど、まあ、その体重が1 2 5キロぐらいで身長がそんな全国でいったら高い方じゃないので、まあ、けどこの下から押し上げるこの力を利用して相手の状態を浮かして。In a few days, Shizuka is going to compete in Tokyo at a national tournament against the country's best high school students. It's his last training before the competition. He's giving it his best. With his already impressive track record, Shizuka has been spotted by the Japanese media. どういう相手かわからんけんがとにかく自分の相撲を取らない、はい、思い切りいけばいいんだよ、はいね、とにかく気持ちで負けないように、はい、2年生の売りっていうのは思いっきりいけるってところなんだけど、はいね、To achieve a lot, Shizuka will have to make huge sacrifices Forget about spare time and also dating Sumo apprentices live in a world without women This evening in Tokyo, wrestlers from Naruto's stable are going out. One of the very few nights of the year. These sumo wrestlers, aged 18, 20, and 23, have special permission to go out after 10 p.m. Outside the stable, the professional sumo wrestlers all wear the traditional kimono. In the street, passers by are naturally impressed to see them. These young sumo wrestlers, however, are not yet used to it. Tonight they're having a karaoke night, but as usual with no women involved. The playlist is full of romantic songs. <laughs> These young wrestlers who have dedicated their lives to sumo have very little free time, and their daily life is entirely controlled by the master of the stable, even their dating life. According to the students, to find a girlfriend, one has to become secatory, that is to say, reach the top of the ranking and the privileges that go with it. The sumo world is sexist by tradition, a tradition which was driven to the extreme, resulting in the exclusion of women. Last year, a scandal brought to light a medieval rule that is still followed to the letter by the Federation. It's April 2018. The mayor of a city near Kyoto collapses in the middle of a speech on the dojo, the ring where the fights take place. 
If no one helps, he could die. A nurse from the audience rushes in to give him CPR. Two other women come to help her. The referee orders them to leave the ring. In accordance with the Shinto religious tradition, entering the dojo is forbidden to women. They are considered impure because of their menstruation cycle. They are forced to go down against their will. Miraculously, the mayor survived, but the affair has stirred up a lot of controversy in Japan. This woman wants to bring the Sumo Federation, anchored in its tradition, to justice. Mrs. Nakagawa is the mayor of Takarazuka. Two days after the incident, she hosted a sumo tournament in her town. This is her on the video at the foot of the podium. After her speech, she was invited to a reception by the Sumo Federation, but the meeting turned into a bullying session. On that day, the mayor was accompanied by her chief of staff, who still seems very shocked by the event. Facing the powerful federation, the elected representative feels all alone. No one gets upset and no one touches sumo. This Japanese national sport is sacred. We asked a referee from the Federation. Unsurprisingly, he agrees that women should be excluded. Japan is still a misogynistic society. Out of 700 municipalities, only about 20 are governed by women. According to the World Economic Forum, the country ranks 110th out of 149 in terms of gender equality. A few goal-driven women have nevertheless managed to find their place in this male-dominated world. At 21 years of age, this business student loves boy bands and making jewellery, but most importantly, she wins sumo tournaments. Since 1997, women have been allowed to practice this sport, but only recreationally. Jury first started when she was 10 years old. It has proved to be a good idea, as she won the amateur world championship in the team competition. To reach her level, Jury trains every day. There are half a dozen girls sumo clubs in Japan, and all of them belong to universities. For the dress code, girls are obliged to wear shorts and a t-shirt under their belt, unlike men who are naked underneath. <laughs> Ah, 
。そうしたら、いいですよ、腰下ろしてください。参ります。はい。はい These women have the right to step inside the dojo only because they are amateur sumo wrestlers. The training sessions are mixed. The girls also fight against the boys. Even though there are increasingly more female wrestlers practicing sumo in the clubs, the number of the ones with a license is still marginal. In the junior category, there is one girl wrestler for every 300 boys. None of them can become professionals because it is forbidden by the federation. However, whether these young students would endure the disciplined lifestyle of a professional sumo wrestler is uncertain. These girls love to go out. They do not have to ask permission to have a boyfriend. On the other hand, their love life is still in the sumo world since they go out with the boys from their club. Back at Naruto's stable, the sumo wrestlers are still working hard. It's a grocery delivery day, and they have to store it in the cellar. It's the team's supporters and sponsors who send them food. Today, the donors sent too many watermelons. When the coach receives too much stock, he distributes it to the elderly people in the neighborhood. こんにちは。どうも。ありがとうございます。え、ご紹介。こちらの方お花沢スイカ。その。あ、そうですか。ご紹介します。すいません、いつも。いやいや。これでも色々まで持って。ダブルメガタです。どうぞ食べてください。は
Thanks to the money he earned during his career, Naruto had the stable built and, in the process, built himself a wine cellar. At the age of 36, as a master, Naruto is paid 8,000 euros by the Federation, which is four times the average salary of the Japanese. The trainees are housed, fed, have their laundry done. To earn money, they have to win fights. Naruto has his trainees on hand 24 hours a day. No one questions this exception of Naruto living in this Japanese world. It's impossible for Naruto to make the slightest criticism. In Japan, in the sumo world, nobody dares. Bad luck comes to anyone who tarnishes the image of the national sport. The Yokozuna, with their sacred belt, are supposed to show exemplary behavior. This one has gone from the status of demigod to that of outcast in one false step. His career ended over a simple bar fight during an evening at a karaoke club. In Japan, this misbehavior made the headlines. The Yokozuna and his trainer were forced to appear before the cameras to give an official apology. The coach in tears and the Yokozuna with his head bowed, as is the Japanese tradition. The champion was forced to retire a few weeks later. A small scandal that can destroy a career. The biggest scandal of the decade, however, almost never came out. This man had the courage to break the silence. Professor Dewa is a medical examiner. In 2007, he saw the corpse of a young sumo wrestler arrive on his operating table. According to the first police report, he had suffered a heart attack during training. Undoubtedly, the body in front of him had been subject to lynching. This 17-year-old sumo was beaten to death by his master and several of his teammates because he tried to run away from the stable. In the face of the police, the teacher claimed that his pupil had died because he had trained too hard. The police closed the case and the body was returned to the family. But the victim's parents did not believe the official story. Professor Dewa started working on the case. <laughs> え、The investigation revealed that he was beaten with a metal baseball bat. え、
心臓なども特別問題はありません心臓それからこれは肺ですけど肺は非常にうっ血していますこれはショックが起こったんだろうと思っております For several months, the young sumo wrestler had been mistreated by his elders. He wanted to leave the stable. His father had no idea. The three wrestlers who beat the young sumo wrestler were given conditional sentences. The master of the stable was sentenced to six years in prison. As for Professor Dewa, he will never forget this case. Ah, in my career, it was a bad thing to do with my career. Of course, yes. You know, the way of the Ozumo is a very important thing to do with the Japanese culture. So, the other thing is that the other thing is that the other thing is that the o t えー、愛知県警が事件性なしとしたものを私ひっくり返すような形で。Due to the fear of the powerful sumo federation, the truth almost never came out. In a democracy like Japan, even journalists don't dare to criticize the sumo world. To find out about these scandals related to the national sport, we contacted about 10 journalists. Only one agreed to talk to us. Under the condition that we didn't show his face. So, I was going to say that 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 I was going to say まず相撲部屋というのは密閉された空間、まあ普段は人目に触れない、そこに、えー、主に10代から20代の若者が集まる、もちろん相撲やってるんだから結構結構も盛ん。Despite the series of scandals, this century old sport still attracts many people and the candidates for this life of suffering are still numerous. We join Shizuka, an aspiring young sumo wrestler who's coming home with his grandfather. His little brother, and undoubtedly a feeling of hunger. His parents live in the countryside in a stylish house, with one room entirely dedicated to his early sumo career. Shizuka started this martial art when he was nine years old. His younger brother followed his example and his diet. At the age of 11, Mazakiyo is 1 meter 63 centimeters tall and already weighs 102 kilos. The two brothers can't even count their victories anymore. At Yamashita's, Where the children have dinner, it looks like this. All over the world, teenagers aim to look like supermodels. These guys, however, want to weigh 150 kilos. In the kitchen, it's mummy who manages everything without worrying too much about the children's health. <laughs> In a few years, her children will leave the house to join a stable and face the violent world of professional sumo wrestlers. Maybe you will see them once a year.、Uh, you are not afraid about that. Is that a problem for you? The room is different. 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 
He just turned 13 years old. The next day at dawn, the two brothers go fishing to relax after a busy week. Behind the nonchalance of this 13-year-old teenager lies an unyielding determination. Sumo life is not easy, but what comes after can sometimes be worse. The wrestler's professional career only lasts about 20 years. Most of them retire from the sport at around the age of 35 to return to the ordinary world. Jumonji is a former champion. At the age of 43, he is divorced with two children and now lives alone in 15 meters squared with memories of a top-level career. In the first league, the wrestlers earn around 10,000 euros per month. Without a degree or apprenticeship, finding a job once their career is over is never easy. Jumonji was a cook and then a waiter. Today, he works in a restaurant specializing in chankonabi, the ultra-calorific dish for sumo wrestlers. For Shizuka, today is the big day. His tournament takes place in the park of a Shinto shrine in Tokyo. These young sumo wrestlers are between 13 and 15 years old, the absolute best of the best from all over the country. Shizuka's whole family came for the occasion. <laughs> Shizuka's first opponent doesn't stand a chance. In three seconds, he's knocked to the ground. Fighting continues all day long. Injuries are common. This wrestler ends up bleeding. It's during these tournaments that the stable coaches pick their future students. The most promising ones become professionals around the age of 16. Shizuka wins two more fights. However, during the fourth one, he falls on his bone. I'm 
自分がもうちょいいい相撲を取ってたらあの優勝できたのでもっと来年につなげてあのこれからの練習を頑張っていきたいです。Despite this defeat, Shizuka continues to believe in his destiny. In a few years and a few more kilos, he will join a stable. It's uncertain whether this shy and reserved teenager will adapt to the tough life that sumo apprentices must endure.